An extensive police investigation has netted 100 kilos of cocaine and nearly $6 million in cash. The Fort Wayne Safe Streets Task Force led that investigation. U.S. Attorney of Northern Indiana David Capp says their hard work makes a giant dent into the drug problem in our area. News Channel 15's Megan Royce has uncovered the latest and joins us now from our newsroom with more. Megan? Heather, U.S. Attorney Capp said it was a tip given by Fort Wayne Police Chief Gary Hamilton that got the ball rolling on this massive investigation. Although six people have been arrested and face federal charges, officials say their work isn't over yet. This investigation is not over. Uh, we've got a lot more work to do. Fort Wayne Police Department is not going to stop. Law enforcement period is not going to stop. We're going to continue our investigation and go after those individuals causing problems. The FBI, Allen County Sheriff's Department, Fort Wayne Police Department, and Indiana State Police have brought down this group. They're accused of trucking in kilos of cocaine from Mexico to the greater Fort Wayne area and distributing it. Police say Alan Bates of Fort Wayne was the kingpin. A major criminal enterprise has been severely disrupted and dismantled. Uh, the citizens of the Fort Wayne area should feel secure in the knowledge that their community has been hugely impacted in a very positive way. During nearly 20 searches, police found 100 kilos of cocaine worth about $3 million, as well as nearly $6 million cash and many guns and vehicles. If convicted, I would suspect the sentencing in the federal court with this amount will be uh, significant. All six are being held in jail without bond. As for others out there, U.S. Attorney Cap has a special message for you. We're coming to get you. As I've said before, it might take us two weeks. It might take us two months, and quite frankly, it might take us two years. But we are going to put together a comprehensive case, and we're coming to get you. Now, of the nearly $6 million cash they recovered, U.S. Attorney Cap says that will be forfeited, and 80 percent will be given to local law enforcement to use at their discretion. Live in the newsroom, Megan Royce, News Channel 15.